Hello, students. I heard that you had problem with LAN and WAN experiment of CN. So I'm sending you this link. Uh, video file would have been very big. So I hope you can follow the procedure. So once you are into the Cisco packet tracer screen, what you are supposed to do. So first thing is first and foremost for LAN and WAN connectivity, we will require N devices. We will take one PC and we will take one laptop. Okay. Okay. Now we will require connection devices, network devices. First, we will take a PT switch for the wired connection. Uh, we'll take a PT switch or we will take a switch with 24 ports. Okay. Then we will take an access point. You can see this APPT access point is for your Wi Fi. Right. Then the next thing that you are going to take is you are going to require is router. The normal um, PT router is good enough. We'll take these two PT routers. Okay, we'll see the connection from jump from network to network. So when we take the first PC, we go to its configuration. It's configuration or you can go to desktop. Configuration in configuration, you can go here and give the IP address. Or you can go to desktop here, you can give it an IP address. We'll take one sample IP address, 192.168.1.1. Okay, it will give a subnet mask on its own. We close it. Now we'll take an automatic wire. We will connect this PC to this switch. We'll connect this switch to this router. And one more wire we require to connect this router to this access point. Okay, now we turn on this router. What do we do here? We go to configuration in the fast ethernet zero port. So the port is not showing on because it takes some time to configure. Meanwhile, we go to the access point. We configure this access point. How we configure this access point? We go to configuration, we go to the port where it is connected, port one, we give it a uh, SSID, which is the name of your Wi-Fi. For example, we give ABCD and we give a WPA to PSK. PSK is your password. Passphrase will be 8 digit 1234567888. 8 digit numbers we will give and the same configuration will do it on laptop. Now for laptop, for laptop to connect to any wireless point, what we have to do, we have to open the laptop, we have to turn it off, we have to take this port out, we have to take this port, fix it here, turn it on. Okay. When you do this, you go to desktop. You can go to this PC wireless and search for the wireless from uh, this or you can go to configuration and you can directly configure your uh, SSID and password. SSID was what? A, B, C, D. Your passkey phrase was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. We'll give it some time. In some time, it should connect. Right? We'll go to the router. We'll go to the fast Ethernet 0. We'll turn it on. We'll give it 192.168.1.2. Okay, we'll take this, we will copy this into the RIP. RIP is what? Routing protocol, routing information protocol. We'll add this, only the network address is added here. So any packet meant for this network will be routed by this router. We'll go to now serial port. So our, uh, the hardware of our router does not have a serial port. We'll turn it off. We'll see out of all these options available, we'll find out which one has something like WAN interface cards, a smart serial connector to support a variety of interfaces, data terminal equipment or data communication equipment. So this is these are this is a serial port for a WAN interface. 
We'll take this, we'll put it here. We'll take this, we'll put it here. We'll turn on the power. And now again, we will go to configuration. This must be powered on. Is it powered on? Okay. Now we go to configuration. Device is still booting. We'll wait. Similarly, here also we will add that port. We'll take this port, we'll put it here. We'll turn it on and we will wait. This is also still booting. So it's a very realistic. It is trying to make it very realistic. Okay. We go to configuration here in serial. Now we have already used a network which is 192.168.1. Here we will use a unique network which is 192.168.2. For example, 192.168.2.1. We have to also give the host address. Host is 1. We have to turn on the serial port. Let me check if it is on. Yes, it is on. It is working. We'll take this address also. We'll put it in RIP. Routing information protocol. Why? Because any address, any packet meant for this address can also be routed here. Which, which is, this is the second router. Wait a second. We'll go to the first router. We'll see if its serial port has been configured. Yes, its fast Ethernet port has been. Fast Ethernet port has not been configured. We'll configure this also. 192.168.1.2. We'll take this address also. We'll put it in RIP. We'll add this. Okay. Any address meant for one and two networks will be routed by this router. Turn it off. We'll go to this router. Here also we have added this, here configuration. First of all, fast Ethernet. First of all, we'll go to serial port. Okay, we'll turn it on 192.168.2.2. Which is this address? This is the address of the first router. And the router is the serial port's address. Okay. We'll add it in RIP. Then we will give a fast Ethernet address for its own personal network. Which one? The one with the laptop. Okay. Here we will give another unique address. 192.168.3.1. Okay. Is it not working? Turn it on. 192.168.3.1. Okay. Now we'll take this address. We'll put it in the routing protocol of this router. Done. Now we will give this this PC. We will give to this laptop a static IP. Static IP will be in the network of 192.168.3.2. Okay. This router to this router, we require the serial DCE connection. We will take the serial second port to serial this port, the port that we have configured. Now we will open the PC again. Here what we have to do? We have to add the default gateway. What will be the default gateway? The fast Ethernet address of this PC is the default gateway. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think now you can see it. Okay. Uh, so the IP address, the fast Ethernet address of this router will be the default gateway of this PC. Okay. And the fast Ethernet address of this router Sorry, sorry. Okay. Fast Ethernet address of this router will be the default gateway of your laptop. Why is it clicking multiple times? Okay. 
Okay, done. Now you will close it all. Now it's time to test. Let us take this packet. See if it goes from here to here. It is successful. From here to here. It is successful again. And last but not least, from here to here. Why is it failed? We'll give it some time for the address to set to boot properly. We'll try again. Now it is successful. We'll, you have to give some time for it to actually boot because it is a lot. It tries to be a lot close to reality. So it takes a time, takes a lot of time to set. Now from here to here, it is successful. Done. If you want to see the simulation, what you can do? You can run the simulation. Like this, how the packet travels everywhere and the ping, that is acknowledgement, travels back. So whatever happens, you get successful. Understood? So the main thing out of all this was that these two are in one network, these two are in one network, and these two are in one network. So you can add multiple devices here, multiple devices here. Just know that every device should have gateway of the router and a unique IP address in the same network. Router to router connections, you should go to the serial ports. The serial port should be a unique network and your RIP should have the network of the PC or the laptop or and the network of the router. Okay. Okay. I think we are done here. You can add multiple devices here. You can add multiple devices here. Give them proper names. Give them proper IP addresses. And then you are done for the practical. So this was the practical. Uh, I hope you have understood this. And good luck. Okay. Thank you. Bye.